Hello dear students, welcome to Exeometry course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2018 and we are doing this problem 44 of the section B. It's a problem of partial differential equation. Let us have a look. Let UXT satisfy the IVP. So we have this PDE given to us and we have this initial condition on it. What we have to find out is this, the value of limit t goes to 0 plus u of 1t equals. Now see, this equation is familiar to you. This equation is generally known as heat equation. All right. Now, the, the most common form of the heat equation that you have done in your courses will be for x to be in bounded interval. Let us say x is in 0 to 1, 0 to L, something like this you have studied. Now the problem with this is that x is in x belongs to R. Now see the second problem is this that ux0 the function the initial condition is not a continuous function. It's a discontinuous function. It is defined piecewise. For 0 to 1, it is defined separately and otherwise it is defined 0. So it's not a continuous function. So that creates a problem because you have not done such kind of uh, such kind of things in your courses. I, I don't think that you have done it. All right. But what I will do, I will tell you a generalized formula which can deal with this kind of problem. All right. And uh, after that, you can easily solve this problem. Now see, this is the formula that I am talking about. So if we have this kind of equation given to us with this initial condition, x is in R and t is greater than 0, then uxt is given by this formula. All right. Now let us begin what we are given with. So solution for the differential equation. So for this system, we are going to have this kind of solution. According to the formula, we will get uxt is equal to 1 by 4 pi c in our case c is 1 all right so we will get 4 pi t under root and we have this minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus x minus uh, uh, minus x minus y whole square by 40 and uh, we have this f y what is this f this f is the given initial condition now see this this f that we are given with is defined separately for 0 1 and otherwise it is defined separately so what i will do i will break my integral so i will break my integral in such a way i will write minus infinity to 0 over here all right so i am writing 0 now in this interval minus infinity to 0 what is your f your function f is actually 0 so you have to multiply it with 0 now if you are in uh, i am taking this thing common order all right so this thing is common now if you are writing 0 to 1 what is your function it is 1 all right in between 0 to 1 it is 1 uh sorry i forgot to write dy then we have uh, 1 to infinity. In this part also, we will get our f as 0. Therefore, we will multiply it with 0. So, you will get 0 finally. Are you getting my point? So, you uxt will be just this. 1 by root of 4 pi t 0 to 1. This will vanish and this will also vanish. So, you will get... 4t dy all right now what we needed is is u of 1t all right we don't need uxt so we have to simplify our case so i will just replace instead of uxt we will re just replace x is equal to 1 now see this integral is not dependent on x all right x is not a function here a uh, y is a function mm, that means y is a variable so that means i can just directly write instead of x i can directly write one are you getting my point or not so we, we we will get this u of 1t is given by this thing now what i will do i will take one minus y 
by root of 4t something i will consider let us say i will consider this as your p so if i consider this as our p if i differentiate it with respect to y then what we will get let us see so see this is what we will get all right consider t as constant t is not a variable that you have to keep in your mind now see when y is zero what is your p that you have to find out so when y is zero so you will get one by root 4t as your p all right and when y is one you will get what uh, when y is one you will get one minus one zero so p will be zero at that time so your integral will be completely changed you have to write it as c we will get one by root 4t and here you will get zero all right and we have one by root 4 pi t on the outside of it in place of dy we are going to write for root 4 t dp and uh, we have this e to the power minus p square as it is uh, yeah p square as it is then we have this dy now see uh, not dy actually it's dp so now see u of 1 t c is is root for t is not a dependent variable layer all right t is independent you can take it outside it, it's 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 it, the integral is in t the limits are for p so t you can take it outside because limits are for p that you have to keep in your mind so c you will get cancelled and you will get this uh, 1 by root 4 t maybe i'm making yes i'm making a mistake there will be a minus all right because of this minus you will get minus in front of this integral now see because we have minus so if we if we interchange the limit what we will get we will get 0 to 1 by root 4t all right yes so now we are getting e to the power minus p square dp so what we are finding out we are finding out limit t goes to 0 plus so you are going towards 0 from the positive direction so if you will find out limit t goes to 0 plus you are going from the positive direction all right u of 1 t so see if you will take this to 0 from the positive direction you will uh, everything will be defined all right because you have under root that is why i am focusing on that part so you will get 1 by 0 so you will get infinity 0 to infinity e to the power minus p square dp so now this is the integral that you can solve it's actually solved using the gamma function now let us see how we can solve that part so see this is the formula that i will be using that gamma of n is given by this all right now what i will do this is my e to the power minus p square so see in this place we have just e to the power minus x that means what we have to do we have to place p as p square as some function now let us consider it some function z so if you consider this p square as z you will get 2 p z uh, sorry 2 p dp is equal to dz that means uh, dp will be dz by twice of p so what is twice of p it is 2 root z got it yes now let us begin so dp is equal to dz by twice of root z so just place it over here what you will get uh, u of 1 comma t all right see you if p square you are taking as z limits will not be changed you can check it all right i'm not going to tell you why limits will not be changed so you will get e to the power minus z uh, dz by 2 root z so let me take 1 by 2 outside of it so you will get z to the power minus 1 by 2 i am writing it like this are you getting my point so finally what we are getting is this one oh, all right i'm sorry i missed this root pi so root pi is still there all right so 1 by 2 root pi multiplied with so you you are getting this all right so according to this formula what it should be it should be gamma of 1 by uh, gamma of 1 by 2 you know gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi so this thing will be cancelled by this 
so you will get 1 by 2 as your answer so see this problem becomes easy and totally calculate the problem if you understand that formula all right so maybe you have done it but uh, uh, generally it was not done in your courses so that is why i was introducing that formula for you if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can always ask in the comment section and if you have any other doubt you can join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video all right so thank you